Right, I am back. So I'm just going to continue where I left off in the last video, which is uh, listening to the um, to the vocals. So doing any, not doing any edits on um, on the vocals that are bothering me, like removing any background noise or uh, breath noises. Click there. Let's do that. Get rid of that little click. No, my name is not Jolene. No, 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 my name is not Jolene. A click at the end there, just get rid of all that audio. Make sure that there's no clicks. Oh, Excuse me. Okay, so um, I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to now export it to a WAV file. So, what you have to be very careful of is when you are um, playing. When you play your final version here, I, I don't generally uh, do any mixing on the um, band in a box tracks, but you are welcome to play around with compression and reverb and um, whatever, but I generally don't. Just make sure that the master volume isn't, isn't on the red here anyway. The other thing I'll check is just the ending of the song with the instruments. Is that all right? But there's no clicks, pops, anything happening there. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to render it to a WAV file and I'm going to call it um, just my name is not Jolene. And now what I'll generally do again is use Audacity for producing the final master just because I don't know why. It's just the way I've always done it and that's the way I feel comfortable doing it. And um, yeah, um, I think I've battled a bit with the J bridge, uh, you know, trying to put 64-bit um, plugins into real band. I had J bridge at one stage and oh, couldn't figure it out so I'll just I just actually do it with um with audacity okay so I'm just going to import that wave file here and the first thing I'm going to look for is I'm going to get rid of this dead space so just select that and make sure that I've got like about half a second to start the track and the other thing I'll do is I'll just check that the end is looking all right there's a bit of a spike there but that should should we should get rid of that with um, the ozone plug and the next thing i will do is i will um amplify the normalize that okay so where's normalize normalize okay um sometimes i might use minus 0.3 um normalize peak amplitude to minus 0.3 okay and then what that does is it just brings the the volume up to a, a, a a set volume that I know that I've used in the past that I that I like to work with. So that's my starting point. And then I just go into Ozone. I've got a very old version of Ozone here, but it's 
suiting me absolutely fine. And I will either use country uh, uh, master basic or country pop. Lately, I've been using country master pop. So I'm just going to apply that. Let's see what happens and what it sounds like. So I've done this so many times, I kind of know what I like for my voice and for my tracks. So I don't bother to even listen to it half the time. So you see what it's done there, it's, provide, it's done a little bit of compression, it's made it louder, it's done all sorts of fancy things, which I don't even know, and then I just listen to it. Listen all the way to the end in case there's a click or anything. Okay, so I am happy with that. So I'm going to export it to Wave and I'm going to call it My Name Is Not Jolene Final. Okay, and I'm just going to type my name here because in case it gets some um, um, distributed anywhere. At least that they will know who the artist is and and uh, copyright What's her name again? Um, let's check if I've got the, the name correct. And that's it. That is it. And then I'll upload it to SoundCloud and share it. So um, 
Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to know what you what you think of these series of videos. I'm I'm happy to do them again. Um, but as I say, maybe it's better to to do it live on on YouTube, and then I can answer questions as we go through the process. So let me know what you think of that idea, and um, have a good day. Bye.